decided to start treatment because that I know what the virus would do anything to my body. And I learned that with the medication, you know, you're less likely to infect anyone else. So I decided to not only keep myself healthy, but protect others as well. I knew that the only way for me to be healthy and to beat this virus was for me to get into care and to um, start treatment. Don't wait. Um, it's not something that you can just sit around and say, oh, I'll go tomorrow, or I'll wait until next week, I don't feel well right now. It's kind of like when you were a kid and, and you were going to get that shot, and you're, oh, you just worked it up in your mind, and, and that needle was just so big. Um, but once you got it, it wasn't that bad. HIV can cause inflammation in the body and cause a lot of other issues if it does not, if it goes untreated. Because once you learn how the virus affects your body, you want to suppress the virus so that it doesn't multiply in your body. Before, when I wasn't taking medication, I would get sick a lot. Um, ended up in the hospital a couple, a couple of times, but since I've been on my meds, I haven't had no issues. Um, HIV has its goal in life, um, and that's to deplete my immune system. I have a goal in life, and that's to stay alive, and that's to stay healthy. You have to take care of yourself. And when you were in care, you were getting taken care of. And you're getting the, the needs met. Letting me know that, you know, it's under control, that I, you know, have it by the neck and so you're not going anywhere, um, that's important to me. Like, I have control. It's seen the impact that HIV had on my life and the lives of so many others. It's just imperative that people get themselves into care if they have HIV. That I know it seems scary, but I've been living it, and I want to let you know that it's going to be okay. But you have to come to terms with being HIV positive, and it's not the end of the world. Um, it's just a new chapter, a new journey in your life that you are going to take. It's completely within the realm of, of reason that I will never progress from an HIV diagnosis to AIDS. And for the first time in our lives, that's possible because of great medication and great research um, that's going on all around the world. Okay, that's all of case for today. Uh, can you criticize uh, this video? What is the important that I would like to show you from this video? Paul, hey, no, Pim. Okay, can you criticize this video? Nice. <laughs> okay, give me some important from this. Uh, uh, how many cases uh, that you can classify from this video? Three? Four? <laughs> four? Ah, uh, okay. First case is... I have another case. Uh, okay, that get HIV form. Don't know, and the, uh, he lived with HIV, right? And uh, the second case, <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, next case. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, the final case. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, <laughs> okay. Actually, uh, if you found, uh, in the, uh, if you watch this video, you found case divide into two group. Group one, uh, the first group, they get HIV from a uh, other person, is right? And the second group, they get in uh, HIV infection uh, at birth, is right? The last woman, uh, woman is right? I, I can remember the, her name. They was born with HIV. Is right? Ah, two group. Okay. But all of them present it like healthy person. Why? Ah, take, take care 
this uh, this uh, themselves is right by what method treatment is right uh, taking the entirely to viral and uh, actually they talk about uh, if they take antiretroviral or uh, anti-HIV, they can separate viral replication, is it right? Uh, one important, uh, if, uh, if you take that, or uh, if the patient take that, uh, or antiretroviral that it can suppress viral replication is so important because of if virus cannot replication leading to virus cannot infect is right another cell uh, and moreover every time of HIV replication spontaneous mutation will be occur because of that inside, I mean an A dependent DNA polymerase don't have proof reading. Can you remember about the term of spontaneous mutation? What is spontaneous mutation? Drift or ship? Drift? Actually, it's a natural mutation. Uh, it can occur. It's like random mutation. Uh, HIV HIV is the microorganism that show the highest spontaneous mutation rate. Every time that HIV replication, it presents mutation. The issue the uh, mutation rate of uh, HIV uh, allow uh, allow uh, three uh, three three. Uh, T multiply 10, uh, 10 power T based per cell. And the problem of a uh, mutation or spontaneous mutation, it make HIV can proceed to antiretroviral that if you, uh, if the patient uh, didn't take uh, or uh, antiretroviral every day or ev uh, every uh, time. That means it's allowed HIV replication is right. Uh, if HIV replication, it present mutation. And if you don't, uh, you meet the patient missed uh, taking the drug, leading to it have a uh, mutation, vi viral mutation accumulation. Finally, it can proceed to treatment. Is it clear? If patient meets the drug adherent, it's allow viral replication, and if virus have replication, it may present spontaneous mutation. But if present spontaneous mutation, very long time. Finally, HIV can proceed to that regimen treatment leading to is that not work to treat a uh, patient. So that adherence of HIV treatment is so important. You will take uh, the patient will take that on time, uh, no missed dose because of it's good to that level good absorption, uh, suppress viral replication and decrease the number of virus in blood stream and decrease spontaneous mutation rate. Okay. Okay, the new the next case. <laughs> He may be living inside me for the rest of my life, but I'm in control of my life. I got an HIV treatment as soon as I found out my genotype, so maybe like eight weeks after I found out, and I learned that with the medication, you're less likely to infect anyone else. So I decided to not only keep myself healthy, but protect others as well. 
My labs have been perfect since I started taking medication. When I say that my labs are perfect, I mean like my CD4 count is normal. I'm undetectable, and it's important to be undetectable to the fact that um, when someone is undetectable, they're less likely to infect other people, they're living a healthy life, and they can still have children. In the beginning, it wasn't easy because a lot of people are uneducated about HIV, so they tend to break away or keep their distance because they don't know what's going on and they don't understand. But the key is educating them because I educate my family now, and they're not afraid. They're not afraid of me dying no more. They, you know, they're, they're, they know I'm okay. You know, I still play with my son. You know, I still do everything normal. And I think the only thing that changed about me having this virus is making me realize I'm a lot stronger than I thought. So why should I say that someone to be ashamed that I have HIV if it doesn't change who I am? HIV treatment works. Get in care. Stay in care. Live well. Okay, my. Okay, can you keep this side, this case, or summarize this case? Okay, uh, and what is the in indicator to uh, indicate the treatment is successful? CD4 number is right? Okay, good. Okay, when patient take the medicine regularly, uh, like uh, my said, and if uh, you would like to know antiretroviral therapy fail or not, uh, you can classify into three phases. Uh, the first phase we call virological fail. For virological fail, you will check the viral load. Viral load is mean present the virus in the bloodstream. The goal of uh, HIV treatment, uh, you can add, we can sub, uh, is a uh, can suppress HIV viral load less than 200 copy per uh, milliliter. That that is the goal for treatment. But if patient present viral load more than 200 copies at least six months. That means patient broke it to the state we call virological fail. Virological fail. And from uh, the previous uh, video, she talked about HIV genotype. Can you remember? If patient present viral load uh, more than uh, 1,000 copy per ml is required to check HIV genotype. HIV genotype performed by sequencing technology to check HIV mutation. Each mutation can tell you which ART or antiretroviral that HIV have received. Uh, and the next, next phase is we call immunological failure. Uh, check by the number of CD4 count. Please remember about CDC criteria is right. Uh, if CD4 more than 500, is it right? 500, that means the patient still on state one. That is show the uh, immunological still good, but if less than 500 cell per milliliter, uh, microliter, is it right? Uh, that means immunological fail, and patient will go or progress to state. And finally is a uh, state. Present a lot of opportunity infection and complication diseases. Okay, the last case. <laughs> You are a part of me, but you do not control me. 
people with us? Nah, and they just kind of explained that you have this disease that will affect your immune system, and if you get sick, like your brother gets sick, your brother may get well in a day or two, but you may stay sick longer. My family told me that the best thing was to keep it a secret, and so I thought, hey, I can't tell anybody, so I was just like, oh, am I ever going to find anybody who cares about me and who loves me for me, and it was just, it was really, like, depressing, really. I overcame my depression um, through seeing a psychologist and a social worker. I can either let this be a negative thing in my life and cry and be depressed in bed all the time, or I can turn this into a positive, and that's when I kind of thought started doing things more positively, competing in pageants and starting working on a blog called Girl Positive and just everything positive. That's all I wanted in my life and I just completely got rid of anything that was negative and that was holding me back. And I am known as a peer advocate liaison, and that's basically working with people who are newly diagnosed or um, have been diagnosed with HIV and are out of care, and I'm trying to get them in care. Unless you're kind of ready to move forward, you're not really going to. So, but I try to remind them that you have something to live for. Find what you have to live for, because that's what helped me. I found what I had to live for. Well, being pregnant definitely makes me, like, just remember, take your medicine every day. Don't forget. I know that um, the best chance of my child not having HIV is for me to take medicine while I'm pregnant and be undetectable at his birth. So I'm, I'm doing everything. I'm going to the prenatal visits. I'm taking my medicine every day. I'm trying to make sure that, you know, he has the best start in life possible. And it's just, it's just made me so much more aware of my life and just how grateful I should be. And I know that sounds weird. It's like, oh, you have each other, but, you know, honestly, sometimes I'm just like, I wouldn't trade it for the world because it's made me who I am. HIV treatment works. Get in care, stay in care, live well. Okay. Uh, for the last case, nine, okay. Can you summarize or decide this case? Yes, it's a perinatal, is right? Ah, uh, transmit real matter to shy. She was born with HIV. And for another even, uh, another important in her life. What another important? Okay, Lina. <laughs> okay, Lina. <laughs> Why? Her shy uh, does not, a uh, has not, uh, not get infection from uh, HIV. Uh, to prevention is right. Uh, pre and what can you guess this? What about her couple? Because of she has hit HIV, is right? And what about her couple? It can go. Yeah, he get infection or not? Can you guess this? Ah, uh, who think he get infection? Or have no infection. Okay. Okay. I will show you about this table. <laughs> the last. Okay. If HIV infected patient take that regularly, uh, it can and can suppress HIV viral load in the uh, in in her or or he, his body less than 50 copy per milliliter ah, that means they cannot transmit HIV to other person patient have but cannot transmit 
but if they can suppress viral load or HIV in their body less than 50 copy if นะคะ, if non infected person is male have sexual intercourse with female that get uh, that have HIV infection uh, uh, besides sexual intercourse they can get pregnant by use uh, IVF do you know this term IVF in vitro fertilization uh, in tricodic lot uh, uh, they can use this method or male have an HIV female have non infection if viral load less than 50 copy per ml he cannot transmit HIV to his couple and if both of them are infected person uh, HIV infected person uh, <laughs> IVF is the good way and both of them should take the duck and separate viral load less than 50 copy per ml and you will see uh, you will see in uh, infected and non-infected if if they have a in sexual intercourse is required to take prophylaxis uh, before and after have sexual transmission uh, sexual intercourse do you know this term prophylaxis take the duck pro to uh, for protection is it right uh, not for treatment for protection not for treatment if you if you know you are the person who have it to get HIV you will take the prophylaxis before it help you to protect HIV infection it is very important for medical staff because of you are the person that export is right patient or direct contact with the patient who don't know uh, you don't know who get infection or not every time that you direct contact or do the uh, or contact with the patient please think about they may get infection from HIV okay that's all for today do you have any question no <laughs> today uh, there are a lot of kids is that right okay Please leave you by yourself and prepare yourself for extermination. I will emphasize you about the HIV detection, HIV, uh, HIV, basically HIV and HIV detection and application. Because of today, there are a lot of cases. I not uh, give your question to ask directly, but most of my question is the application okay because of this uh, this topic is so important in medical profession is right uh, this is the big problem in the world okay thank you for today